What happened to Frieza in episode 125 isn't something that we should overlook, isn't something that we should just not talk about. Frieza since he entered the tournament he had one goal in mind and that is to win the tournament and get the super dragon ball by any means necessary and that is to make his wish to control Beerus and all the gods and everything that he did in the tournament of power is a setup to make that goal happen, to make what he wants happen and what happened to Frieza against Toppo is something that Frieza didn't take into account, something that he didn't expect to happen. Frieza, he got beaten badly. Toppo showed him that he can't win against him. And we saw him throw Frieza at the edge of the stage. But Frieza didn't fall. And him not falling isn't by accident. It's something to show us that Frieza has a lot more to do in the tournament. He has a lot left to do. That's what him not falling gave us a hint of. Frieza in terms of power can rival Super Saiyan Blue Goku. We saw that before the tournament when he sparred with him. So his power isn't to take lightly. And the thing that happened to him against Toppo is that he got a bit overconfident is that he doubted Topo he doubted his power that's why he failed but that defeat against Topo is a wake up call for Frieza it's something to remind him that he needs to get a lot stronger than he is now it's something that gave him the necessary reminder of how much he needs to get stronger and Frieza is not gonna give up he's not just gonna let Topo beat him like that he's gonna get a lot stronger and if you remember what he wanted he wanted to be above the gods and it's not far fetched to assume that Frieza Frieza is gonna get a power like Gods of Destruction since he is the most suited one to that job. What happened to him against Tobu is something to give him that boost, to give him that something that he needs to get stronger and he will. Him not being eliminated is a hint towards that, towards that there's a lot from him to come. If he manages somehow to get a lot stronger and rival the power of God of Destruction it won't surprise me at all since 4 months of training gave him his golden form and the boost that he will get from what happened against Toppo won't be a tiny one. He got arrogant in that fight. But that will also be something that will push him to get a lot stronger. Will be something to make him challenge Toppo once more. And he will not give up on what he wants. And that is to get the Super Dragon Balls no matter what. And we shouldn't take Freeze lightly after episode 125. Since there's a lot that's gonna happen in the coming episodes. And Freeza is gonna be in the middle of that. He's not gonna give up. He's gonna try to make Toppo pay for what he did. And in doing so, he might see a new god of destruction for universe 7 emerges a warrior to rival that of even gods of destruction and that warrior might be frieza saying that this is it for the video thank you for watching till the end i really appreciate it if you enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe it will help me out a lot leave your thoughts in the comments and i will see you on the next one bye bye